Hello and thank you for watching my video. This is a video that was suggested by a number of different people uh, commenting on some of the videos and they were looking at, you know, they wanted to know about finishes, blast finishes and generally uh, combo fields. Something that's not really been elaborated that much on by, you know, by ArenaNet. It is something that is very, very prevalent and is very, very necessary for high-end areas, for dungeon runs in particular, uh, for, you know, world bosses like Tequattle. You'll hear and you'll see a lot in the, the actual map chat, things like, you know, might stacks, um, you know, sort of uh, dagger dagger elementalist and, you know, for fire field and such. And a lot of new people to Guild Wars 2 will not know what this means. So this video is designed to show you a little bit about combo fields and finishes and what they are. Uh, I will point out that, uh, for example, for doing, you know, combo fields, you know, I'm doing my on my engineer. There are other classes, you know, every class has the ability to do a combo field and to do a blast finisher. But uh, for this, I'm going to just show you a little bit on the engineer. So if we go through here, if you look at hip shot, third on the bottom, you see combo finisher. Uh, physical projectile 20% chance so that means that if you actually fire this uh, hip shot through a field of some kind you have a 20% chance to create a combo there's nothing for net shot uh, we have nothing for blunderbuss we have nothing for overcharged shots but for jump shot we actually have a uh, leap finisher Again, this is a finisher that it does create uh, a, a, a combo field. So if we look here, we go seven. Uh, this is on my bomb kit. This creates, you have the ability to do a fire field. You have the ability to do a smoke uh, combo field. And uh, that, that's just for the bomb grenade. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the smoke bomb down. And then what we're going to do, we're going to jump. And look, we've stealthed. So, and you notice that it came up with the, uh, you know, sort of that little heart shape as explaining that we actually, that was a combo field. We've used a finisher in a field to create a combo. So let's try it again. And what we're going to do, we're going to use fire. Okay, so we're going to put the fire bomb down and this time we're going to fire. And we get burning. So we've got that little heart shape. We didn't get a might field. But what it is, the projectiles actually allow you to take on, for example, uh, blinds. So if you fire through a smoke field, you'll create blind. Uh, if you fire through a, po a poison field, you'll create poison. Which is what my grenades, if we look at the grenades hit here, we have no uh, uh, sort of combo fields apart from the poison grenade. And so what we'll do, we'll throw that down here and we fire and we've got poison you see that little heart shape i'm just going to move out the way because i don't really want to get into combat with these guys um i'm just showing you here but these are the type of fields that you can create and the blast finisher the one the finisher that has blast does tend to be the one that's able to give you a lot of might uh and what i'll do i'll as i'm running away from this stalker um, I will swap onto my Elementalist a little bit later and we're going to show you because the Elementalist has a lot of blast finishers. So if we do it again, uh, we put the bomb grenade down and we'll do the fire because I'm hoping we should be able to do it on skill 5. So we put the fire bomb down and there we go, we've got fire aura. So this time with the leap you'll get fire aura which uh, grants you a fiery shield. So these are the different combo fields that you can create. Um, again, we also have Cleansing Burst, so what we'll do, we'll wait for the jump shot to cool down and then we are going to put the, so we'll put the healing turret out and then we get the Cleansing Burst, so we'll put Cleansing Burst, that creates a water field and we get this healing, so we get regeneration. Uh, we actually, as well, using the jump shot, which is a combo finisher, as you can see there, the leap combo finisher, that actually would have healed ourselves. Uh, by jumping if I actually had damage by doing a leap finisher or a blast finisher I actually would have healed myself so these are the, the type of things that you know uh, a lot of people are not too familiar with and it's the reasons that when you are in fields like we're in this uh, you know we here we create a water field when we shoot through this you know if, if we can I've got 20% chance here but we're not going to get anything but uh, let's wait for it to cool down again. And what we're going to do, we're going to do Cleansing Burst and then we'll jump. 
and we'll show you it should heal you really but um i don't actually have that so there you go it says healing there and that's actually how blast finisher works uh, and this is on the engineer so what we're going to do we're going to swap to our ele my element elementalist and we'll show you some of the blast finishes there okay so you can see now i'm on my elementalist here this is my staff elementalist and let's look at these staff skills um, so do we actually have any combo or any sort of fields or finishes? We don't have anything on the first four. This is for the air achievement. Apart from the static field. This gives you a lightning uh, field. Now, we're going to come back to this a little bit later. Um, so we look at the earth skills that they give us. Ah, we get a blast finisher on the eruption. That's pretty cool to know. Uh, and again, we actually have a combo finisher projector with shockwave. But we're not going to use that. But what we'll do, we'll look at the eruption, and that allows you to create a blast field. So, what we're going to do, we're going to swap to the air attunement. And just to show you as well my healing skills, the reason I use Arcane Brilliance is pretty much for this combo blast finisher. It's a healing skill, which is a finisher. Uh, same with Arcane Wave, that is also a blast finisher. So, what we're going to do, we're going to pop the uh, static field and then we're going to swap to the earth attunement and use eruption to do, be the blast finisher. So here we go, we've got the static field and we'll pop that. Ah, it didn't quite work. Okay, that might have been a little bit late. So what we're going to, I think, yeah, there you go, because it takes a while to uh, sort of erupt. So what we're going to do, r rather than just show you that, I'll do it on again. Um, and what we're going to do, we'll use arcane wave. But for now we'll come back, uh, we have two water fields, the healing rain and the geyser, and this is a ice, you've got a combo ice field, that can actually be very beneficial as well. Um, so if we put the ice down, we've got area, uh, area frost armor, so we gain, uh, a lot of our allies would gain frost armor. Uh, this again is the same here, if we do the geyser, you get area healing, so you heal everybody in the area, again very very effective. So here we go, we actually have three, uh, sorry, two skills that give uh, combo fields, the Burning Retreat and the Lava Font. The Lava Font is very, very useful indeed. And this is what a lot of the Elementalists will really use, uh, if you're on a staff anyway. So what we'll do, we're, we're gonna, if you notice I have no boons on me, we'll do Firefield and we'll do Arcane Brilliance, and boom, we've got three Might Stacks and we've got Fury, but Fury is because I'm traded for it. Um, I believe but anyway it, this is what we're talking about by the might stacks so here we go we'll do it again there's the uh, and so we used lava font plus the arcane wave and now i'm up to six max uh, st st six stacks of might so by using combo finishes you can actually really for elementalists in particular uh, allow you to create massive uh, might stacks and a lot of different fields again and one thing I, I always got confused by, you know, I, I always saw in videos that uh, a lot of people would, did, they would run around and they would use windboard speed and then they would create a static field and then suddenly get, you know, a uh, swiftness. So let's show you how. By putting up a static field, we'll you then use arcane wave and look, we get area swiftness. So your entire party that's uh, in this, the area will get swiftness. So again, it's something that is very beneficial for those uh, combo fields. You know, I've shown you here, we've had a fire field, we've had the water field, ice field, uh, and also the static field. Um, but that, that's pretty much how the, uh, these fields work. You want to see, look at the skills, it says combo finisher, and that's what you want to pay attention to. So I'm hoping that this a little bit of a guide has been useful for you guys. But let's switch over to Dagger Dagger Elementalists and let's see what they meant by you know all these fields. So let's have a look. Any skills here with uh, fields? Oh, there's nothing there for the uh, the what's it called the air achievement. We have nothing so far. We have a leap, a combo leap finisher. But this one here, this is the earthquake. This is a blast finisher. Very very useful indeed. As is the churning earth. Although it does take three and a quarter seconds to cast that, so you've got to be timing that very, very well. We have uh, we have a frozen burst again. It's a blast finisher, and this is why the uh, dagger dagger Ellies are so uh, vital in those big zergs because they can really pop all these finishes in a fire field and get all that might for your team. So we look here. This is a burning speed is a combo field and ring of fire is a combo field. So what we're going to do? We're going to do ring of fire. Swap over to Earth Achievement, use erupt, uh, that stomp there, 
and a and look we've just got nine max of, nine stacks of might from three skills we used earthquake we used arcane brilliance and we used arcane wave three blast finishers and they gave us nine stacks of might and that is the how you do that you create a fire field you use a blast finisher on that fire field and you will get uh, stacks of might and what i'm going to do i'm going to actually show people uh sort of you know, like the ability to, you know, what are the different fields that you can do? Obviously, this is just elemental. This there are other fields out there. You, the Necromancer, for example, has a, uh, you know, a the dark fields, and you know the thieves are able to do the smoke fields, so, and the Mesmer has the eth uh, ethereal uh, fields. So there's very different f fields as well. And what I'll show you now is you can see that uh, this is on the wiki. So we have a blast finisher, a leap finisher, a projectile finisher, and a whirl finisher. The whirl finisher, it's there aren't many whirl finishers in the game. Um, you know, if you look, uh, you can go in there. I mean, the element of this doesn't really have many skills. It's more to do with the warriors and the guardians with their sort of cycling act, uh, the the cycling skills, and the the ranger has the whirling defense. So that they're the whirl finishers. But uh, the combo field, the blast finishers, uh, this will hopefully be a good idea, show you a better example on what your finisher, when doing it in a field, can have a tremendous effect that you may not realise. It, you know, it pops out the little heart uh, explaining what it is, but it doesn't last for too long. And, you know, the light fields are very good because they can remove uh, conditions. You know, the ethereal can create chaos armour and confusion. So that's pretty good. The dark field, you know, creates life stealing and blindness. And again, the smoke field's the one that creates stealth, and that is very, very useful for thieves, particularly in dungeons. So I'm hoping that uh, this has been a bit of an education for you, and that you know it's worked out quite well, and that you've sort of examined, you know, what the finishes are, what skills are required to do certain fields. Uh, and you know obviously there are only certain professions that have access for example the thief and the necro have access are the only two professions with access to the dark field the elementalist and the engineer are the only two sort of classes that get access to the lightning field so your profession can determine you know the engineer does have access to the majority of these fields but your profession can determine what type of fields that you sort of are able to run and it you know for those dungeon runs it can be very very important as well to create do these combos and allow you to progress through the dungeon and cause lots more damage uh, and is generally a lot better sort of for you to work as a party so i'm hoping it's uh, worked out quite well for you guys uh, any comments or feedback feel free to leave them in the comment section and uh, i'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching